What's happening YouTube, it's your boy Tech Tricks back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to play Pokemon Go without going outside. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come with tips and tricks on your iPhone and your Android. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. And here we go. So first thing, what we're looking at here is I, my phone, any two. If you want to try this out, I'll link this down in the description below. Now, without further ado, let's try it out. So first thing you need to do is hook up your iPhone to your computer, to PC or whatever computer you're using. And make sure you press trust and put in your password. Once you've done that, the iMyPhone Any2 will be able to recognize your phone. Now you can open up Pokemon Go. Just a normal app. Don't use iSpoofer or anything like that. Just open up the normal Pokemon Go app. So once you're here, uh, make sure you log into your Pokemon Go. Now you can go ahead and go to your computer and enter any address you want. In this case, we're just going to use uh, San Francisco because this is something. Uh, this is one place where I catch all my Pokemons and has uh, many different spots where you can grab a lot of different Pokemon. So I like using this spot, but uh, this is just one example. You can use any location you want. Now, just a reminder, when you are teleporting in Pokemon Go, make sure the first thing you do is teleport. Don't catch any Pokemon. Don't spin any Pokestops. Make sure you, the first thing you do is teleport or else this won't work and you will be shadow banned. You'll know that you are shadow banned if you spin any Pokestops and it won't give you any items or when you try to catch a Pokemon and it flees right away. So if it, if it that happens to you, make sure to uh, exit Pokemon Go, wait about two hours and try this again. Now what I'm doing here is uh, moving my uh, position slash location to San Francisco. As you could see, um, we are were, we were able to move to San Francisco and this is my actual location right now. Now we're going to go through the uh, process on how to move uh, automatically and you can, you'll be able to do this uh, normally. Here on the side, uh, you can change your speed, whether you're walking or you're doing a bike or a, a car. I like to use the bike method because the walking is too slow. And uh, once you're done uh, selecting the location, just press the move and your your uh, your character should be able to move on that position. So as you could see here, it's very nice as well. It follows, uh, it doesn't just move diagonally to that location. It moves on the streets. So it looks like uh, you are actually walking on the street. This mimics the behavior of a person and how they go to a certain location. Now let's try at a different speed. Again, the walking is too slow. So uh, we're going to select this time a different location. So you could see there and then we're going to choose uh, five miles per second as if you're biking. And again, it will uh, walk or bike to that location on the street side. As you could see there, my character starts to move. And here now you can uh, select anything on your phone, play Pokemon freely. Uh, catch any Pokemon you want, spin any Pokestops as you uh, walk automatically. Now, the next feature that N iMyPhone Any2 has is uh, multiple routes. Right now, what we're using is a single route where you're coming from A to B. Uh, there's another feature on the second tab there on the top right where you could see uh, that it can you can have uh, multiple routes. So let's try that out. Uh, let's press stop here. Click this second one right there and um, let's put in different routes. This is, um, you can put any route you want, uh, many different routes, it doesn't matter. Once you are satisfied, press move. Now your character will start to move on those uh, routes that you've chosen. Again, it'll do this uh, automatically and you can play Pokemon Go uh, as freely as you can.
Now there's another feature that iMyPhone NE2 has is the third tab up there is which is uh, teleporting. So here, um, yes, you can teleport by typing the location. This one, you'll be able to uh, put a certain spot on the map and press move and teleport on that spot. This is very useful when you're looking at raids and looking for a Pokemon, a certain Pokemon in a certain area where you don't want to, for example, uh, walk there or you don't want to take time to uh, uh, bike there or whatever then you can just teleport there directly as you can. So now be careful when you're doing this, uh, make sure that you have a certain time in between uh, teleports because then uh, you will, will then get uh, shadow banned. And that's it, this is the best way to play Pokemon Go inside your house without going outside during this quarantine time. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come. Download it below. I'll link this down in the description below. Hope you guys have a good day and stay safe out there. Peace.